So you're having some knee pain during squats. What's well, one of the first things you should do? You should take the movement and you should deload it to get more information about what's going on with your knees. So the great thing about deloading a lower body movement and even upper body movements for that, for what that's worth, is that it, it makes the movement easier for the muscles, it makes it easier for the joint. So if sitting and standing or kind of squatting like this is painful for you, but you deload the movement, you use something to help, like a band or pulleys, then it gives us information that your knees are probably not the problem. That when we deload the movement and the pain goes away, that your problem is more muscular and movement based, which is encouraging. It's actually good news that structurally your knee is actually fine. It's how you're doing the movement that's actually contributing, causing your pain. So what do deloaded squats look like? So check out these two videos here. So you can see one of them uses a heavy resistance or strength band, and then the other uses just a, a pulley apparatus. So the idea here is to have a big enough band or enough tension on the pulleys to help you through the motion, right? The idea is if it's too light, you're not getting enough assistance. The goal is that the, the deloading should help make the movement easier. And then if your pain goes away, then that's actually good news, it's good information. Now, what happens if you deload and the pain is still there? Well, it, it doesn't mean that you can't squat, but at that point, what I would suggest is you meet with somebody, talk with somebody, get further evaluation on your knees, or at least have that person break down your squat technique a little bit more. You know, deloading is great, but there may be some other nuanced things that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing, or that you're not doing that you should be doing, that can be uh, broken down and assessed by somebody who knows what they're doing and knows what to look for. So while deloading is great, it's only good to a certain point and it may, you may need some additional evaluation on your knees if the pain still persists after the deloading.